Buenos días, señor y señorita. ¿Y químico? ¿Sí? Hi. Sí. Hi. Hey, this is Señor Bergman. I'm Mr. Sams, and yes. I haven't taken Spanish since I... You don't know any Spanish, Mr. Sams? Well, I picked up a little when I lived in California, but that was about it. So you don't want to do Spanish today. Well, Guys? I can, but yeah, so I don't know how many people are going to get much out of it. Although there's a whole other population out there that would get even more out of it than we normally do. That's true. Of yeah. course, the problem is I don't know that much Spanish, Yeah, frankly. we actually need to go to number 10 there, Mr. Bergman. Am I in the wrong one? Let's go yeah, back here, you know, of course. While he's looking around there, um, you know, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to go up and visit my family in Wyoming. Nice, Wyoming, yeah. Yeah, yeah the interesting thing is, uh, you know, Museums in Wyoming aren't quite as sophisticated as um, those in you know, France and New York and yeah. Los Angeles. I've been but to some museums there before. Are, there are some yeah. museums, and there, yeah. there's a really important piece of artwork in the museum in Gillette, Wyoming, and it's called the the Mola Lisa. The Mola Lisa? Are yeah. you kidding? Is that like similar to the 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 Mona Lisa it's in similar, France? But, but but it's, it's not quite as special. Is I think it's Louvre? on black velvet too. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's up in the... the, the you know, we're, I'm going on vacation, too. Oh, yeah? I'm thinking about going to Japan. Really? Yeah, because I wanted to take in some sumo wrestling. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Sumo, you get it? You know, I am going north, Lee, did you get that sumo? I know yeah. it's so slow for you. I know. Okay, you got it. I'm heading north. And north? Okay. To Wyoming, you know, further north in Colorado. Yeah, that is and north. And if I keep on going, if I just kept going, I might run into a molar bear. Oh, a molar bear! Uh, they, they, they're the most dangerous of them all, because I think they're 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of them, aren't they? I think so. They, yeah. just, they come in yeah, large packs. So, yeah, that's This indeed. is actually 15.2B, guys. Oh, yes. So you know. Not... A, this yeah, is this is the B. second part. The second we're gonna part. So we're going to dive into this and find question number 10. I had 11, so we want to go to number 10. Well, where we were at, ladies and gentlemen, as we finished, I think, through example 9, and today yep. we're going to do 10, 11, and 12, or something like that. So, uh, again, so we're going to solve a bunch of problems, then we're going to get conceptual on you. Mm-hmm. So the math is going to go away in just a bit here, but we do have to do this. We have a strong ass, a strong base. Oh, we have a beaker! We've got the big beaker! That is my beak hair. Yes. And what have I got in the beak hair? I've got... 20 milliliters of methyl. I have CH3 NH2. That is a weak base. That is a weak base. Okay. And I have nitric acid. Yeah, nitric acid, how do I write that? That's H plus. H positive and, and, and nitric. And NO3 minus because it is a strong acid. And of course, the only thing that matter yep. is the weak base and the strong acid. We don't the care about nitrate. nitrate. don't care. Ever. So, and that's a, a strong acid. So we write the acid with the base. So mm-hmm. let's start with the acid. The acid is H positive. I'm going to react it with C. Uh, it it's CH3 and H2. CH3 and H2. And that makes his partner CH3 in H3 positive. So now we're going to do the B, C, A table. Now to do this, of course, we're going to do M times V yep. equals moles. We're going to use millimoles. We love milli, milli, milli mm-hmm. moles. And so when you take uh, 20 times 0.2 and 10 times 0.2, so what do we got for you the got hydrogen? got 4 millimoles of the, um, of the base. Sorry. So 4.0 here. And 2 millimoles of the acid. Okay. And then how, of this, of the CH3, Zero. that'd be none, right? Yeah. So that'd be minus 2. Yep. Minus 2, plus 2, uh, 2, uh, 2, and 0. Kind of yes. went backwards, I know, sorry. But what have I got here, Mr. Sons? Hey, I think we have a buffer. I have this, and I have this, and these are partners! And they're, look at that, they're equal quantities of both. And actually, that's an that's interesting an point. ideal buffer, and then, yeah, it does so make the something pH very interesting. So the pH equals the pKa plus the log. Now, actually, let's do this. The log of what? One, uh, 2 over 2. And 2 over 2, of course, is 1. Mm-hmm. And the log of 1, ladies and gentlemen, you should memorize at some stage, it's very zero. simple, is 0. So in this case, the pH will be equal to the pKa. Now, I think we have to find the Ka because this yeah. is a base we, one. Isn't we it? have a Kb for methylene. The Kb of CH3 NH2 we find in our textbook. Yep. And that is what? It's 4.38 times 10 to the negative 4. 4.38, 10 to the minus 4. So you take the negative log of that. Or is that he no, that's goodness? KB. Well, I'm actually taking 1 times 7 negative 14. Let's do it a different way, okay, Mr. Sam. Okay, that's fine. We can do no, that. Another way you could do sure, this. Negative take log. Take the negative log of the KB. You get... Working on it. We got 3.36. And this is actually called what? The PKB. B, yes. So if you also, you may not know this, you can say the PKB, if I can write, plus the PKA... Not writing it very well. Is equal to the is equal to 14. 14. So if I just take 14 minus 3.36, get 11 and some change. So the uh, P yeah 10.64 Ka equals 10.64. And in our problem, the pH equaled the pKa. So the answer is 10.64. 10. 
All right. Now, you could also just do the 10 to the minus 14. There's a lot of ways to kind of manipulate this. We yeah. just thought we'd show you a different method this time. Okay, we have another beaker. I'll make it a box here. Mm. Down there is Mr. Mo. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> we have methylamine, CH3, NH2, and we have nitric acid. Again, methylamine. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, it's a very big beaker. And who's going to get together? Well, it's the same, guys. This is the same reaction, except in this case, we're going to have a special case. You're going to see that. So it's the exact same reaction we just did a minute ago. CH3, NH2, plus hydrogen, makes CH3, NH3 positive. If we do our BCA, I think yeah. it's 4 and 4. It yeah? is 4 and 4. This is 4.0 and 4.0 when you do the N times V equals moles. So minus 4, a 0, minus 4, a uh, Zero. Zero, yeah. Plus four, four. four. Now, oh. we of course have a buffered solution because no. we have this and... Oh, we don't. Yeah. No buffers. It's not buffered because the only thing we really have in any significant quantity is the CH3 and H3 positive. Yep. So can we use Mr. Henderson has a nope. equation? So we have we to go gotta back do it with the ice box. The ice box. We need to write a brand new equation. Yep. So we need to start with a new sheet. You'll just go down below. And we have CH3... NH3 positive. When in doubt, react with water. React with water. I'll write H2O this time because this is a acid mm -hmm. and that double arrow. And that will make hydronium H3O positive plus CH3 NH2. Now, something we do also need yeah. to work with is can we use millimoles? Mr. No, Sam? we need to convert that back to molarity. So, so we're going to say millimoles four millimoles divided by the total volume. And we had 20 milliliters of the base mixed with 20 milliliters of the acid, so that's 40 milliliters. Now, folks, you understand, if we go back to the problem where he got that 20 milliliters and 20 milliliters. That's where he got the 40. Yep. I can do this in my head. That's a 0.1 it is. molar solution, isn't it? So that's our initial amount. Now, this is now an ice table. Mm. So this is 0 0.1000. Zero, zero. This will be the minus x thing. We've done this before. 0 0.10 minus x plus x plus x, x and x. So then we'll say that the Ka, because this is an acid. How do I know this is an acid, Mr. Sams? Um, sorry, I'm working on my solver already. All right, we know it's Sorry. <laughs> I'll say <laughs> to them, he's not paying attention. <laughs> it's because you produce hydronium ions, H3O positive. So then you're going to say this is equal to x squared over 0 0.10 minus x. Now, most likely in the back of the book, you do not know the k value. The ka. Oh, sorry, ka, 4.38 times 10 to the negative. Wait, k. No, no, nope, no. Sorry, no, I no. need to take the negative. So we know the kb. The there. kb is 4.38 times 10 to the minus 4, I think, right? Yeah. So therefore, the ka is 10 to the minus 14th, or 1 times 10 to the minus 14th, over the kb, and that gives you it gives you 2.28 times 10 to the negative 11. Or you would take the negative log of that. No, no, that's it. Okay. So that's 2.28 times 10 to the minus 11th. And then you use your solver, and you get x to be. And x is what? Now, I, I think it's important to write that, the H3O positive. And that's equal to? Sam's we're, is we're working on it here. I had a mistake in my problem. Yeah, he, he was you, using the K. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. That would okay. create a problem. It would create a problem. Okay, here we go. We got it now. 1.51 times 10 to the negative 6. And again, folks, what you should do is you should use your solver as well. You need to do this yourself. If you were sitting in class and I was teaching this to you live, I would want you to be doing this so that you made your calculators sing the same song, as I like to say. They didn't ask for the concentration of hydrogen. They asked for the pH. pH. You take the negative log of that. 5.82. 5.82. So everybody takes does the negative Does that number make sense, Mr. Burton? I think it does because the pH is uh, acidic uh -huh. because we have a weak acid. We do. It's not a very acidic because yeah. that would be like 2 or 3. Yeah. pH of 5, almost 6 actually. And so that seems like a totally reasonable number. Yeah. And I believe we've got one more problem to solve. Two maybe, more actually. Maybe two. Okay. Number 11 again with the different numbers. Oh. Is this 11 twice? Yep. 11 okay. twice. But Call that new, number 12 if you want. But it's a different problem. Okay. So now we're going to take CH3 NH2. We've got that. And we have nitric acid. It's the same chemicals, isn't it, Mr. Sims? It is. It's okay. different quantities again. But different quantities. So it's the exact same reaction. CH3 in H2 plus H positive makes CH3 in H3 positive. Yep. Is that like 
wrong language or something? Okay. I don't know. It's I don't a know. nondescript accent. I don't know what they talk like, okay? Like Russian, Scottish, French thing. Spanish, too. I can yeah. Do. Buenos dias, senor. Mm. All right, okay. All right, so uh, we we've got four millimoles of the base. 4.0. And 4.8 of the acid. 4.8. Again, we're just taking the volume times the concentration that are given. So we're going to run out of this first. Yep. So minus 4 at 0, minus 4, that's 0. 0.80, uh, plus... Four, and we have four. So yep. now we have two things. We have yeah. a buffer. No. No, we don't. Oh, yeah. No buffer. Why not? We do not have partners. This is a weak base. Yep. Uh, pardon me, weak acid. Acid, yeah. And this is a acid. strong acid. Yes. Acids and acids do not make buffers. You have to have, and, and when you have a strong acid and a weak acid, the strong acid wins. Wins, So yes. the concentration of your hydrogen... Now, its concentration will be 0 0.80 millimoles yes. divided by the total, total volume. volume. So if we go back to this problem, yep. 24 and 20, that'd be uh, 44, 44, right? 44. Yeah, divide by 44 milliliters. The millis cancel. You get moles per liter, and yep. you get... 0 0.018. So if you take the negative log of 0 0.018, you get the pH. Yep, 1.74. 1 1.74. So we ignore this four right here, it does have a concentration, but it doesn't add up enough significantly. All right, one more problem. All right. Oh, these are really important problems. Mm. I call them the ratio problem. All right, so the ratio of ammonia to ammonium in a buffered solution is 3.2. What is the pH? Yeah. What is the pH? Yeah. All right, now when these buffered problem, whenever you see a ratio problem, you need to go to Mr. Hender the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Yep. So you know... The Henderson-Hasselbalch Henderson equation, pH, is equal to pKa plus the log of the base over the acid. Yes. So when they give you this ratio, they're giving you B over A. Sometimes, however, they might be giving you A over B. Right. It just so depends, it on, depends what they on how they write the question. Yes. Now, they have said this is the ammonia... ammonia to the ammonium. So that is so the NH3, you know, think of a ratio thing, like from like the SAT test. Um, this is a base, and this is the acid. And we want the base to the acid right here, and that's what they gave us. So yep. they've told us that it's 3.2. Now, we do know um, this chemical is NH3, so we need to find the Ka of right. NH3. So if you look in your textbook, however, yep, you you'll find that the Kb is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. And when you solve for the Ka, I think you can do this. It's 5.56 5 5 5 10, 10. 10 to the negative 10. And therefore, the pKa is 9.26. 9.26. So you're going to say the pH would be equal to 9.26 plus the log of the ratio, in this case, 3.2. And then you just plug that in. 9.76. 9.76. Now, this problem, just as a side note, can sometimes be asked to solve for the ratio. Mm -hmm. I've seen it go that way, and that's very easy. What's the ratio? If you know pH equals pKa plus the log of the base over the acid, if you were given the pH, let's say just for the sake of argument that, um, um, what was it, 9 point what? You knew that the pH was uh, 9.80. You would set that equal to 9.62, assuming the same chemical, plus the log of x. And then you just solve for x. How would you solve for x, Mr. Sams, on a calculator? Uh, well, I'm going to subtract 9.62 from both sides. So that would be 0. And yep. this would be uh, point, uh, tw uh, 18. 0.18, yep. So if it's 0 0.18 equals log, log of, x. of x, how would you solve for x? 10 to the 0.18 power, and then 10 to the log x, and then log x goes away, so it's just x. Yeah, 10 to the log of x is equal to x. Right, so what is that, by the way? 10, 10 to the, the 0.18, 0.18, that's a good question. 10 to the 0.18 is 1.51. That would mean that you would have a one and a half times more base than acid. Yeah. So sometimes they ask these buffer or these uh, ratio questions. Pardon me, in that fashion. Yep. Okay. So now All what right. we want to do? No more. Math.